Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we are playing Rule the Waves. Um, so, we're still at war with the Germans, and, well, while we did end up getting our asses kicked in uh, the first episode of the war? I don't know, that doesn't sound right. So, two episodes ago, I got my ass kicked, and we're still trying to recover those, uh, those victory points. I have since moved my submarines to unrestricted warfare. Um, my patrol fulfillment is more than triple fulfilled. And we've still got eight and a half thousand victory points before we even catch up. So I need to move some ships. Um, Looks like we are already in the process of moving some of our biggest and baddest over to the Asias. Most notably, it's going to be Southeast Asia. But I do need some sh... Damn. Germany has a lot there. And all I have is a destroyer. Ah... Uh... Am I moving anything else to the Indian Ocean? Does not appear to be. Oh, wait, yeah. One Memphis. Already have a gull herder in Southeast Asia. couple of San Juans on the west coast. Germany doesn't have anything there, so I can move a couple of ships. Germany has one probably heavy cruiser by now in Northeast Asia, but all they really have is Kautschau Bay. Seems the heaviest forces are Why are you not telling me anything? All right, Southeast Asia. Uh, we finally have the numbers advantage, but New Mexico, Michigan, Roanoke, Jene. One more Alaska. Bless their hearts. Two gull herders. Three San Juans and an Olympia and a few Warringtons and Dales. If I recall correctly, I lost a chip down here in Southeast Asia. Still have plenty of ships in the Caribbean. They're all older designs, with the exception of a Chippendale. And we are moving one more Jenny to Southeast Asia, currently in the Caribbean. And by golly, we've got a lot on the East Coast. Mostly destroyers? Yeah, mostly destroyers. Yeah, all older designs on the East Coast, with the exception of one gull herder. And... Alright, let me move one gull herder from Southeast Asia. To the Indian Ocean. Because, like I said, as of right now, we only have the one destroyer in the Indian Ocean. I mean, at least it's an Evans class, which does okay. It's got four or five inch guns with the kind of odd cross deck fire. 
but I mean, it works. So, let's go ahead and progress the turn. Oh yeah, do we have... Alright, so we've got two more Alaska classes uh, with the redesign. So we put that right into the dockyards before the end of the last episode. And... Oh... Oh, we've got the Colorado coming out soon. Look at this thing. I'm I'm going to be so happy to put this up against whatever the hell Germany wants to throw at me. Hopefully keeping the deck at four inches uh, is a gamble that pays off. Hopefully I can get in close enough to you know, negate the need for a four and a half inch deck, but far enough away to not be, you know, instantly pinned by, I don't know, 12 inch guns or something. But yeah, we'll get that this turn. Our, uh, so we'll not be 23 knots. Damn it. Probably 22. We've received an offer of peace from the enemy, but hell no. Light forces and torpedo warfare, nothing tangible. And we sank a minesweeper. Six for one, that's nice. And raiders in Southeast Asia, some more. Yeah, that was English. And 50 victory points from Italy. Doing whatever. Small engagement. It's probably going to be just the one destroyer. Let's see what comes of this. Oh, it's both of them. Nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and just authorize that flotilla attack. Come on, Evans. Don't let me down. No torpedoes on the Pueblo. Did I not put torpedoes on my battle cruiser? I sure the hell didn't. I mean, obviously, but... Ah, fuck. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. And what are we up against? Apparently an armored, or a heavy cruiser, but I'm not sure yet. A destroyer? Oh yeah, uh, let's do the squad max thing. And that's going to be another destroyer. Take this off of AI control, and yeah, squad max. Well, this V1 is already slowing down. Oh, are they turning? Are they turning to fight? Which means I need to turn to evade torpedoes. Yeah, they do seem to be outrunning the Pueblo. But maybe the Calhoun will be able to throw a little bit of high explosive shells their way. Well, Cal. Alright, what is this 
S20. Four four inch guns, super firing turrets, and the V25. Pretty much the same thing. All right. Six above water tubes, four four inch guns, super firing, 1400 tons, 34 knots. Oh, 1100 tons, so. And 33 knots, so we should definitely be sinking that S20 far faster than the V25. And how are you doing, Calhoun? Still okay. Let's... Hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to chase them all the way. Because one of them can at the very least do one knot faster than me. Okay. Hold on. Calhoun, you are... Uh, you can still go. Still able to do your maximum 33 knots. Actually, cut across this way. And keep playing. Playing, running. So it looks like they will end up getting away. Unless they do that. Holy shit. Yeah, turn sharp. Can we split the difference here? Well, the V25 is already going pretty slow. So the S20 is the one that gets away. How fast are you going? 20 knots, still not fast enough, slow enough. But I'm going to keep on the V25's rear end. And the Pueblo should be, yeah, definitely in gun range. I missed that. What was that? Why do I not have any of this? Ah, well, I missed what that pop-up was. Hopefully it was only something about ammunition. So we just need one good hit from the Pueblo. still hitting and let's go ahead and have you fire some torpedoes are you sure about that uh yeah maybe
that really 2,600 yards? Huh. Yeah, we're really lighting up this guy now. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's go ahead and fire those torpedoes. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. And immediately turn north. Uh-oh. Turn east. Okay, this guy should be going down. Yep. Move north, and hopefully we can catch up to the other destroyer. Still able to do 33 knots, so... Ah, there you are. Yeah, keep hugging that coastline. Well, I feel pretty good about this battle. So far. Hopefully the uh, Pueblo gets to be in gun range soon. You are in gun range. Why are you not firing? Huh. Okay. Still running. But because he was hugging that coastline for so long, he was... or we were able to get back in range. But he's still got that knot on us. Ah... Uh... Well, this is quite a boring chase, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, come this way. I mean, he's taken hits, but not quite slowing down yet. Uh, that was a couple of 10 ends hits, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the S20. <laughs> yeah, that's two 10 inch hits, three 10 inch hits, four. Four 10 inch gun hits. And a five inch. I mean, that's a lot of holes. But still not quite uh, slowing up yet. Pueblo, why are you not firing your guns? Come on. Wait. It, I think it's okay if you fire AP. I mean, for real, fire your fucking guns, man.
Oh, the sun. Sun's starting to get real low, big guy. Oh, Calhoun has dropped down to 31 knots. And that's it. But maybe, just maybe, he slows down after being unspotted. I'd say he does. No torpedoes. Just out of sight of the Pueblo. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's try and drive you into the beach. Still not yet. But I think I am going faster than the S20. Sinking, that can't be right. Although maybe it is, I I could be totally wrong. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay, front gun out of ammo. And I, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. I've only got. I only have my rear turret. Good. That took forever, though. Medium damage on the destroyer, but hey, we we got ourselves a minor victory. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, leave scenario. Minor victory. We gained a few victory points. War emergency measures have uh, shortened the build time of a couple of our submarines. Alright, so where do we want to move the Colormado? I do vote for the Indian Ocean. Yeah. Working up. Yeah, let's move you to the Indian Ocean just for now. I'm sorry you're not finished working up, but we kind of need you. 
get some get some points back. Hey, weight savings on hole. Whoops. Hey, hey, we torpedoed and damaged a German light cruiser. France got extra pissed off at us. It must have been a French liner. And we sank another minesweeper. 13 ships sunk. Two losses. Large liner sunk by a German submarine. I wonder if France will go down. Ah, Jenny got hit. And yeah, France went back down. One German sub sunk. They didn't sink anything. Ah, armed merchant cruiser in Southeast Asia. Coastal... What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why did you go to Northern Europe to go to the Indian Ocean? You... Stupid. No. Why? Hmm. I'm so tempted to do this. Wait. No, the Colorado's in West Africa. Who the hell is in the Northern Europe area? I can't can't really see. Okay, so who's the battle... No. No. <laughs> no. Wait. It was the color motto. All right, let's move this guy back to the East Coast. No, the Caribbean. Fighting continues in Mozambique. And we sank an armed merchant cruiser, nice. In a gun duel at that with a submarine and we're just still just sinking German subs with not many merchant losses South American West Coast I'm not putting ships there huh Examination of captured enemy munitions indicates that they are not ahead of us in explosive shells. More ships in the Indian Ocean than our bases can support. Right. Okay. Um... Let's move the Memphis back to Southeast Asia. Oh, okay, we are improving the Okay. And what do we have in here? Two light cruisers and nine destroyers? Uh, 
I don't remember sending these guys to Northeast Asia. Alright, so move to Southeast Asia. I think Southeast Asia is where our big fight will end up being. Oh, we do! We do have... Okay. I thought we did, I just didn't remember. Let's build another color motto. <laughs> New Jersey. And we've definitely got the cash Let's build a couple more cruisers. Olympia, there it is. Let's build three of them. And the Alaska classes will be available in this next turn. Ah. Well, we lost Mozambique, so everybody needs to get to Southeast Asia. That's in the Indian Ocean. Four inch guns on a cruiser in 1936? That's a horrible design. New British ship, the battleship, the Dreadnought Repulse, with 14 inch guns and 34,300 tons. Is that new? Well, it's got advanced director. Turrets are very thick. It's a little lacking on firepower. 12 ships sunk. One German sub sunk. Raider in Southeast Asia. Trade disruptions from Raider and submarine sinkings are causing hardship and food shortages in Germany. Convoy attack. This is a large battle size. Oh yes. Ha ah. Damn it. Why do I get the feeling that I will not get my decisive battle? Decisive battle would be nice. Right. So everybody that's in the Indian Ocean needs to come to Southeast Asia. Although, I will probably have the uh, Calhoun... Colhoun? Colhoun? Uh, interned. What? Alright. Where am I? It's here, isn't it? Yep, Northeast Asia. We are 2,000 tons short. Is that it? Just 2,000 tons? Alright, we'll send to Memphis.
Yes. Ooh. We torpedoed and damaged a German battleship. Uh... An unrestricted submarine warfare may end up coming to bite us in the ass. Cruiser action in the Caribbean, huh? Medium battle size. Let's give it a shot. This will be the last uh, battle of the episode. So what do we... Oh. Oh, oh. oh, it's a constellation. Hopefully, we don't have like some sort of super duper end game battle cruiser to fight. And it is 7.23 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and have these guys back into, okay, I can't do anything else. Now I can. Authorize that flotilla attack, squad max. And they are turning north, and now they're turning back in. Surprise, it's a battle cruiser. What are you? That can't be it. I know what's up. Six inch, five inch, <clears throat> and 12 inch guns. Is it the same S32? Oh yeah, it, it is. Because the other one is a V2. Four four inch guns, 34 knots, 1300 tons. They are keeping the same design, but putting them in larger holes. And this one only has three four inch guns and four torpedo tubes above water. Huh. Ranger is taking forever to turn. And they are starting to get outside or to the edge of visual range. Move on ahead, destroyers. So, is this really all that there was? Seems to be. What kind of ship are you? Warrington. And it looks like they are all Warringtons. Put these guys at support line ahead because I was wondering why they were all scattered about. The V2 up here is already very slow. Can I get the Birmingham's to 
squad max and head for this S32. <clears throat> V2 is already dead in the water. All right, Amin, let's go ahead and have you launch some torpedoes. Let's try that again. Okay, you're sinking. Ah, uh, Ranger, come back. Get a nice fat broadside on the... Uh, Okay, it was only two destroyers. Ah, uh, I mean, hooray, but it was only two destroyers. Three hundred ninety four victory points. Wow, really? Oh geez. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let, let's let's move something to Northeast Asia. Did I ever improve this base? I did now. And apparently I cannot improve bases here. Weird. But I can improve Guam. But I'm not going to. Alright, so what do I need to move from Southeast Asia? Can I get away with moving a Michigan up to Northeast Asia? Or do I want the Jenny? Or hell, move a gold herder. Yeah, move a gold herder. And hopefully that's not too much. I think uh, Calhoun is going to stay in repair until the end of the war. Which sucks. But I do have plenty of destroyers. So it's not all that bad. Okay, so we are coming up on 45 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call the episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.